Today's Morning Minute, Lack of Knowledge, Day 29 of the Fraud Committed by Satan Against Man. Merriam-Webster defines fraud as follows, intentional perversion of truth in order to induce another to part with something of value or to surrender a legal right. Adam, Adam surrendered man's legal right of dominion over all the earth to Satan in the Garden of Eden. We read in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What kind of knowledge causes my people to perish? Unbelief. Unbelief is a belief in self more than God. My power, my knowledge, my strength, my intellect is greater than God's. This is the path to destruction. Wide and broad is the road to destruction, but narrow is the path which leads to the knowledge of Christ's redemption. Faith is believing in God more than self. The Israelites came to a point where they did not want God's word to get in the way of their belief and legal system. What they believed in their intellectual knowledge of man, traditions, and doctrine, they thought was greater than the wisdom of, of, of the word of God. The lack of knowledge of God's redemption plan is unbelief in Christ's complete finished work on the cross, which will lead his people to perish and lead to destruction. The lack of knowledge about being written into, the, into God's inheritance as an heir of God and joint heir with Jesus Christ will lead my people to be destroyed for a lack of his knowledge. Lack of knowledge on the authority, on the authority his children have over the enemy. Death, sickness, and sin will cause my people to perish and be destroyed. The lack of knowledge about God's love, about God's love will cause his people to live in fear, condemnation, lack, shame, guilt, unforgiveness, bitterness, and blame. So that they will not experience, they will not experience the joy, freedom, peace, rest, power, and victory of the cross. My people will be destroyed will be destroyed because they lack his knowledge of love. The lack of knowledge about God's grace will cause my people to perish and be destroyed because they want to perform and earn God's love. It is Christ's performance and demonstration of his sacrificial love on the cross which redeemed mankind, not your effort. Thinking you can earn God's love through your efforts destroys my people. The lack of knowledge about your identity in Christ as the, as the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus will cause my people to perish and be destroyed. And we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 to 25, and then also verse 31. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us, to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where's the teacher of the law? Where's the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him. God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But, the, but to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Jesus Christ legally and judicially restored you back, back to your legal family as a child of God in the image and likeness of God. You have all the legal rights and privileges as a son or daughter of God. 
You are blessed. You're designed to operate at the level of your Father. You have life abundantly. You have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God living in you. Amen and amen.